In this episode, we find a leak in the van and quickly try and get that fixed. We jump on a couple of maintenance jobs and we make the most out of Melbourne's sixth lockdown by going for a walk around town. Hey, my name's Sean and welcome to How to Motorhome. Join me on my adventures across Australia in a self-converted Ford Transit. Head up 90 miles. your boy Sean living his best life the van life in uh, freezing Melbourne lockdown gotta love a good lockdown anyway maintenance clean the fridge out because somebody left uh, defrosted uh, flakes it smells a bit fishy so uh, getting it cleaned up Say hello. <laughs> That's my mum. She's been kind enough to lend me her driveway until this lockdown is over. Thanks, mum. She's in. Maintenance and cleaning out the, sh the uh, fridge is done. So, end of another day. Today we um, we got this guy cleaned out because we're smelling a fish. It still kind of smells of fish even though I've just infected it. Uh, I'm going to put some white vinegar in there and some baking soda and hopefully that will get rid of the smell. That's all cleaned out. Uh, making some yummy uh, cornflakes as my mid as a late night snack. Watching uh, Big Bang Theory, and soon I'll be cracking open a, a nice bottle of wine as well. Um, so update on the, um, the leak in the in the van, the ceiling van, the ceiling uh, vent. Did some online research and kind of just felt around. Uh, where the sort of the water is coming from and uh, come to the conclusion and I checked up on the roof as well and come to the conclusion that it's um, it's actually the uh, condensation uh, it's very common um, obviously in a motorhome and van situation where it's winter it's cold outside and you're producing a lot of heat in, inside an enclosed space um, and I think that's what's happening is the skin of the van is hitting the vapor barrier and obviously there's it's it's uh, dripping down to the timber frame that is holding down the um, the exhaust fan so a couple options um, obviously I want to try and dry it out as quickly as I can I can um, I can dry it out uh, get rid of the mold that's starting to form so the timber's nice and dry then I can I'm going to paint it with an anti-mold paint it's actually just raw timber at the moment so I need to paint it anyway um, so I'll do that you just mix it in with existing um, paint and paint that so that way if the water gets onto it at least from underneath it's um, it's not going to rot away too much and then the other option is you can um, use the exhaust fans on during the day just to circulate air to dry the the van out 
So I'll try and do that. Uh, but also you can get a, a, de, a dim, dimidifier. Humidifier, a dehumidifier. So it sucks all the water out of the air. So yeah, so I'm gonna eat this, have a few glasses of wine, hit the bed, I'm pretty tired. Okay, so today we're gonna fix whatever the moisture is in this ceiling. In there. So we've got the fans going at the moment. Circulating air in, out. Seeing that will get rid of some of this condensation. I tried the exhaust fans for condensation. Didn't really work, but it probably didn't leave it on for long enough. But I'm going to try and flood the roof now and see if there's a leak that comes through. Okay, so confirm there is a leak in the ceiling fan. It's clearly I've turned the hose on, it's clearly dripping, so it's not condensation. There's a leak. So now I've got to find out where it's leaking from. Let's go. Um, I took off all the um, Sigaflex and the um, Bupane, Butyl, whatever you call it, the adhesive stuff waterproof adhesive stuff so I found the leak and then I stick flexed it all back again so this is what it looks like mm. so it's not, the, not the most glamorous job but I'm hoping that will hold so basically the leak is actually underneath in the corner of underneath where this solar panel is where it sits on top so I found one of the screws it was kind of like loose it wasn't actually really in, so that could have been a problem as well. So I replaced the screw, longer screw, drilled it in, clamped it, nice and tight, and then Sikaflex the whole thing. So it hasn't been 24 hours yet, so we'll give it 24 hours for it to set, maybe even 48, and, and then we'll do the water test again. Hopefully that solves the leaking problem. Also on the maintenance front, in four transits there's like a little I guess trimming what you call it above here and you can um, you can put a roof rack on there and whatnot and it clamps to clamps to it um, so that's starting to like the paint starting to flake off of course exposed metal is going to rust so I did a little bit yesterday it's kind of just painted it I don't know how good of a job I did. You can see I probably need another coat. But I'm starting to do that maintenance on the van as well. Always something to do. Put in this fly screen, which is pretty cool. I got it on uh, from a guy on Facebook. Uh, a lot more cheaper than some of the ones I've seen out there for like three, four hundred dollars. And it does the job. Basically, uh, got these magnets clicked together and they attach just via, they give you these velcro strips see, you can put it back on like such so that's pretty cool and then hopefully we'll head off to somewhere in Victoria, regional Victoria if we're allowed to um, trying to get up to warmer weather but obviously New South Wales is in lockdown, Brisbane's in lockdown South Australia won't have let us in, Western Australia doesn't want us Tasmania is too cold so where do you go? We've been, been here for a couple of weeks now. In Mum's driveway. Uh, and the battery's at 12.3, which is about 70% charge. These are my starter batteries. So um, I thought I'd probably uh, just give it a, give it a start up.
that run, let it warm up until uh, the gauge goes halfway. Uh, let it warm up and um, running a bit low on diesel as well, but that's okay, we're not really going anywhere for the next seven days. So we'll let that uh, warm up, uh, let the batteries charge for a little bit, and we'll check the, uh, the meter. Uh, probably doing about 10 15 minutes. All right, so the car's been running. It's nearly there. Let's go check it out. Okay. Ugh. So, what do we got? What do we got? 13. 13 volts. Starter battery is 13 volts. So, that's good. So, battery, starter batteries are back up. Boo! Saturday morning, get on with life. Uh, have a shave. What am I gonna do today? Not too sure. I'm gonna do some exercise. I'm gonna stay fit when you're in a van. Because obviously, in a small space, you don't really move around a lot. Plus, I do like uh, my food as well. So, so we need to stay healthy. So maybe I'll go for a walk and bring you guys along. Carlton Cricket Ground, which is just over there, and this over here is Princess Park. Just trying to get out into nature where we can during this lockdown in Melbourne. That's the city there. So yeah, just getting some fresh air, getting some exercise in. Otherwise, just going to turn into a potato. So yeah, thanks for watching uh, another episode. If you like what you saw. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you next time.